Yes, indeed, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Jay Jordan here. And the WNBA, as of today, which is December 18th, released the 2024 schedule. So I'm super excited. We're going to go into it from the beginning of the calendar all the way to the end. We'll find out some important details about dates for the Olympic break, the start of the season, the end of the season, the Commissioner's Cup final. All of that super important stuff we'll get into in this video. Before we get into it, guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'll respond to all comments. Anything you leave, I'll respond to it. Just make sure it's a nice comment, though. But make sure you get down in the comment section. Let's discuss some things, and let's see what the season has in store for us. Salute! Okay, so let's start at the top of the W's calendar for its historic 28th season. Starting on January 21st, teams can begin negotiating with free agents. They can see who's interested, who's not, um, who, if a player on their team has become a free agent and want to see if that player is going to come back. All of that good stuff will take place starting January 21st, at least legally. It should begin January 21st. And on February 1st is the official start date when teams are allowed to sign these free agents to contracts. So January 21st, um, the negotiations begin. February 1st is when those negotiations can be signed or more negotiations have to happen, and then they can be signed after that. So let's mosey on down to April 15th when the 2024 WNBA draft will take place. As we know by now, Aaliyah Boston and the Indiana Fever have acquired the number one pick again. The consensus, it will be Caitlin Clark. So Indiana will most likely take her and they will have back-to-back -back number one picks playing for them in the upcoming season. After the WNBA draft, training camp and those rookie deals and signings will happen as normal. And then we go down to May. When the W season begins, the WNBA season will tip off on May 14th 2024. That's a Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. It will start with four games on that night. It will be the New York Liberty going down to visit Washington at 7 p.m. We have the Indiana Fever with the potential back-to-back -back number one picks going against the Connecticut Sun at 7 p.m. You have the Phoenix Mercury facing the defending champion Las Vegas Aces at 10 p.m. And you culminate the night with the Minnesota Lynx versus the Seattle Storm at 10 p.m. The following day, you have the Chicago Sky with new coach Teresa Weatherspoon facing the Dallas Wings, who had an outstanding season last year. And you have the Atlanta Dream playing against the LA Sparks, who I think they had the number two pick in the draft. After an exciting first week in the WNBA season, Games will proceed as normal until we reach June, where the new Commissioner Cup format will be implemented. The Commissioner's Cup will take place between June 1st and June 13th, so all the Commissioner's Cup games will take place in that two-week period. Teams will play five games against people in their conference. It will either be three games at home and two on the road, or two games at home and three on the road. After those Cup play games, Whoever has the best record out of each conference out of the cup play games will move on to the Commissioner's Cup final, which takes place on June 25th, 2024, at the home of the team with the best record in cup play. Teams are competing for a 500K pool of money, as well as the donations that go towards the organization of their choosing. After the culmination of the Commissioner's Cup final, the season will continue as normal until we reach July. On Saturday, July 20th, the All-Star Game will take place in Phoenix, Arizona. That will be the last time we see all of our WNBA stars and players and teams together until after the Summer Olympic break, which takes place from July 21st to August 14th. As you all know, or maybe don't, the Summer Olympics is taking place in Paris, France this year, where a lot of our WNBA players will be playing in, whether they're playing for Team USA or other teams across the world. 
the Olympics takes place from July 26th to August 11th. So they gave them about four or five days on the front end and about three, four days on the back end. After they return from Paris, they'll come back to start the season on August 15th. There will be three games that day. The Phoenix Mercury versus Chicago. You have Washington visiting Minnesota. And you have LA hosting New York. So August 15th, be ready to jump right back into the season for some exciting W games. After that three-game slate, the season will continue as normal as teams fight for playoff positioning and try to secure themselves in a playoff spot for the 2024 WNBA playoffs. This year, however, instead of the season ending on a Sunday like it did last year, it will end on a Thursday, which is September 19th, when every single team in the W will be playing. They will all be jockeying for position, most likely, I know, between that that six and eight seed is always a, is a toss up on the last day of the season, who goes where. So that will be an exciting time. Make sure you have that locked in your schedule. Thursday, September 19th, final day of the WNBA season before the playoffs. And of course, after that, the playoffs will happen and we'll see who comes out on top. Hopefully, it's the New York Liberty this year after the heartbreaker that last year was. Well, guys, that was the whole W calendar. You can check out the individual games on WNBA.com. They have the schedule for the Commissioner's Cup games um, and for the individual team games. They haven't released what games will be on what provider yet, whether it's ESPN, Amazon Prime, Ion, and all the other CBS, all the other providers that the W has on their docket they haven't released what games will be shown where yet so be on the lookout for that as always guys thanks for tuning in um do you see any matchups let me know if you see any matchups when you go look at the schedule that you're excited to, to to look at as you know if you were with me last year we did a lot of the away games because I'm, I'm usually at the home games for the new york liberty we do a lot of watch alongs for the away games here on the channel and if the liberty aren't playing a certain night and there's an exciting game I'll definitely hop on the stream and we could chat about that as well. All right, on the way out, guys, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of good things coming. The W season is almost here. It's almost 2024. Free agency is going to start. Who's going to sign where? Who's going to get traded? And I'm excited to see how that all unfolds. Until next time, guys, it's Jay Jordan. I'm out. Salute.